Can we get a soundbite of you advocating for gender-based genocide? Gender doesn't exist, so I'm, I'm not, you're not gonna hear me say that. Gender was a term invented in the 1950s, or perhaps the 60s, don't, you might want to look that up, by the crazed sexologist John Money. Before he coined the term, it was only used for language, which is the only way it should be used, because people have different sexes, not different genders. The distinction between the two is a recent, a recent distinction, and it's one that I would not say exists. Uh, we're running out of potions, by the way. I'm gonna switch here. Mikey attracts the ca cancer types. That's fairly true, and you know, I, 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 I'm aware of that, and I've kind of, you gotta learn to accept that to some extent. Is that like, I think there's something about, you, you sort of attract people who are similar to you, you know? But that doesn't necessarily always manifest itself in people who have the same, like, thoughts, you know, the same ways of thinking. Like, like for instance, I, I you know, I, I believe I'm a very honest person, you know, I say what I'm thinking. I think a lot of people appreciate that. And I think I draw a lot of people who enjoy the fact that I don't have, you know, like a, a big fucking filter over what I say. But just because they enjoy the fact that I don't have a filter doesn't mean that what they say without a filter is intelligible. <laughs> you know what I mean? But at the same time, I understand completely where they're coming from. It's not like I could ever be upset about being in that kind of position. I, I love it, you know? I am very okay with being the fucking, uh... The, the, the fucking edgelord favorite. You know, that's fine. That's, that's, that's a position I'm, I'm very okay with being in. Catholic priests are against gays, but they still fuck little boys. Yeah, that's unfortunately sometimes true. And as I, <laughs> I'm a Catholic myself, and I have to admit that, yeah, that's, that's sometimes true. It's actually, that's part of church teaching, is that people aren't, aren't good. People don't do good things, generally. It's, it's something called original sin. We kind of fuck up a lot and, and do bad things and choose to do bad things. Not like it just fucking happens. You know, he tripped and fell on your dick. No, you, ch you chose to do that because you're a bad person. You're doing bad things. You can also choose to do good things and you should. You're, you're a fucking priest. You should do that. Uh, but you, it wouldn't actually be good if you didn't have the choice to do it. You know, or at least it wouldn't mean as much. You're more of an edgelord than fucking, fucking monkey. Eh, maybe. I don't know. Yeah, I mean, that's just the... What's your opinion on the boy fucking epidemic sweeping the Catholic Church lately? That's my opinion. Is that... It's an institution... Created by God... But populated by men. That, and that's just... Ultimately, when you have an institution... That that is the case... Like, you, I can easily say that I trust in the church, because I do. But do I trust in necessarily in the people inside it? No. I mean, there's like a Catholic saying that the, the, the way to hell is paved with good priests, or, or, like, or bad priests. And I'm not good, that doesn't even make sense. Bad priests. And it's like, yeah, they, there are bad priests. There have been bad popes. There was a pope who had kids. You know what I mean? Like, it's, it's, do you hear about the pope covering it up? I've heard allegations of it. I don't know if it's true or not. If it is true, he's a terrible pope. That's... That's just how it is, you know? Like I said, there have been bad popes. There's actually kind of like a Protestant thinking that... And actually even a lot of Catholics believe this. It's just not true. It's not the Catholic teaching. But there's this idea that the pope is like such a holy man that he couldn't ever be wrong. It's not... It's not true. That's, that's, it's simply, like, not true. He can be wrong. And, for instance, if he covered up something like this, he's, he's wrong, you know. That's as simple as that.
What do you think about the part in the Bible where it says, No man on earth, call no man on earth father, for there is one father God. Uh... I, you know... I've heard that one a lot, and I don't, I, I don't... Remember you have lava cookies. Oh, thanks. I'd have to read it again, honestly. That's one of those... There's a lot of things I've looked into because I've had questions about it. That's one of the ones that never really struck me. I'd have to look into it. My my aunt the only answer I can give is the most dickholish answer, so I don't want to give it. But I'll I'll give a different dickhole answer. It's a real dickhole answer. My question to someone who asked me that would be to say what do you think about the part of the Bible where Jesus said, You are Peter, and on this rock I found my church? That's a dickhole answer. That's a really fucked up answer. Um, but. Yeah, I mean, I'd have to, like, look into that one, to be honest. You know. Yeah, I guess I'll fight this guy. Oh, or. Oh, yeah. What do your Pokemon think about Catholicism? Well, they don't, they don't have free will or, uh, or, you know, like, minds of their own, I don't believe, so they don't really think of anything. Yeah, it is, it is interesting when this chat, this, like, the discussion on these streams <laughs> devolves or evolves, rather, into, uh, into religious speak, you know, into, into theology stream, you know, it's, it's kind of strange, I'm sure anyone, like, just coming into the stream is going to be really confused why there's a, a grown-ass man playing Pokemon and talking about theology. But you know, I think it's, hey, I like talking about it. The only rational position is that the Muhammad ends are the enemy. Well, I mean, they're definitely not friendly, you know? But at the same time, it's like, it's not necessarily the people that are the enemy, but what they do that makes the people the enemy. You know what I mean? Like, it's, it's almost a mistake to say that, like, all those fucking Muslims are, are like, terrible. I mean, generally, you could say something like that and not be wrong. <laughs> you know what I mean? But, like, if you could convert one of them, it's like, well, then suddenly he'd probably be a... He'd be on the right track. It's like... I don't know if anyone's heard this story, actually. It's, it's, it's really interesting. I read this uh, biography recently about St. Francis of Assisi. And during the Crusades, he went on this big journey to the Saracens to, to like, convince them to convert them all to Christianity and end the Crusades by doing that. And everybody, all the, you know, all the Christian leaders were like, yeah, that would be great. You know, like, yeah, we're, we're at war with them now, but if they just converted, that would be a much better solution. So he went there and he said, he, he told them, like, uh, I am here to convert you and to show my conviction, I will walk through fire. And he wasn't saying, like, I'm gonna walk through fire and God will protect me because- and that's how I'm gonna show you that I'm right. No, he was just saying, I am serious about this. And to show that I'm serious, I am going to go burn myself. And the- the, uh, the Muslim said, No, don't do that. No, I don't want you- to, don't do that. You- you can just leave. We're not gonna kill you or anything because you're a real cool dude. Which is funny, everybody really liked St. Francis, even the Muslims. They were like, Nah, we're not gonna- we're not gonna kill you, you can leave. But you should just leave. We're not gonna- we're not gonna watch you burn yourself. <laughs> so he just left. <laughs> he just had to leave. Which is like, you know, that's- it's a nice story. <laughs> Could've ended better, but not bad. Actually, did anyone hear apparently India changed their law recently? It used to be illegal to have gay sex in India. It's now legal. Welcome welcome to the first world, India. You'll love it here. It's, uh... It'll take some getting used to, 
Uh, but the way things are going, you'll be able to continue shitting on the streets. So you don't have to worry about that one. You'll just have to- you'll just have to sort of break some of your values. It's not hard. We've all done it. Didn't the Pope who called the First Crusade use, literally use the word Jihad? Use the Jihad excuse that anyone who died fighting would go to heaven? Well, I mean, if you die as a martyr, you do go to heaven. If you die for the faith. So, I, that might be what you're talking about? Like, if you're killed for being a Christian, then you, that is, like, the, you, the belief is that you go straight to heaven. But, uh, yeah, otherwise I don't know what you mean. How did we get on this? I was talking about a fucking YouTube comment about homosexuals. Speaking of which, got another comment, which was, which was interesting. I, I, at first I was really happy with it, actually, because of the way things transpired, but then it kind of went kind of weird. Um, this guy commented on one of my, on like the EU4 video talking about like, uh, you, it, or no, it was like an older video. He said like, you know, for somebody who complains so much about Twitch uh, censoring you, you, you don't seem to realize that the simple solution is not being a bad person or something like that. And so this was after, he was on, he was talking about that on a video where I hadn't been banned yet. But at the time I was reading it, I had been. So I made a dumb joke. I said like, are you victim blaming me? And he said, yeah, I am. And <laughs> but then he said, P.S. I really like your videos. And it's like, oh, that's, you know, like I, I respect that. Like, I don't know. It just gave me like a, like a warm feeling of just like, this guy holds like the opposite belief to me. You know, he believes that I really should be censoring myself instead of voicing my own opinions. And he made a bunch of other fucking comments about how all my opinions are, are bad and just wrong, um, which I, I disagree. <laughs> but it's like, you know, even though he holds the opposite of opinion, he's still just like, but you know, I like your stuff. It's like, oh, thanks. And it was very civil, right? It doesn't, I, I, I only point it out because how often do you fucking see that in like YouTube comments where you see someone disagree, take the opposite fucking stance and at the end of it say like, yeah, but whatever, you know, still like your stuff. Just like it. But then, of course, it kind of devolved from there, and now he's been leaving a bunch of comments saying that the people who watch my shit are, like, shitheads, uh, and I should be policing them to make sure that they're not thinking the wrong thing. Uh, such as, for instance, he said that... He, he responds, too. I'll respond to him. He'll respond back. He's probably not watching this, but if he is, I've got nothing against you. It's just funny. But, um... He responds to, like, everything I put when I respond to him. And except, except, very tellingly, he said, like, uh, he, he made some comment about uh, Frankfurt is not a majority, not German. Uh, you should get your sp facts checked before spreading these lies. And then I linked him three articles. One in German, one from Wikipedia, and one from another independent English source. Say, you know, citing the studies that showed that, uh, that Frankfurt was, in fact, 51% foreign-born. Uh, he, he hasn't responded. <laughs> Do you like the Jordan Peterson videos on psychology in the Bible? I never got through those. I watched a bit of it, and I don't remember it. That was a few years ago. It was before the Jordan Peterson... Uh, it was before he really caught on as a meme. <laughs> and I think it was right about the time, like, he, he caught on, like, just after that. Kind of lost interest. I know that's sort of like a very contrarian um, thing to do, but that's that's what I did. I guess you fucking fake out. I guess I'll be fine. No, no. Hmm. What if I'm raping some chick in Jerusalem and get shanked by an imam? Do I get a free pass to heaven? No. Obvious, obviously. Why would you think that you would? He's saying that- he, that's what I'm saying. Just because they were crusaders didn't mean, oh, I signed this piece of paper saying I'm fighting and now I go to heaven. That's not at all what- what the idea was. It was that if you die for the religion, then you go to heaven. 
If you die getting stabbed while raping someone, that's not exactly dying for the religion. Also, you've committed a mortal sin. So, you know, it should be pretty obvious that, like, that's not kosher. <laughs> The whole- or Peterson has some interesting ideas, but he drones on forever and is extremely uninteresting to listen to. I can see what you mean. The clean your room thing is pretty apt. I would agree with that. No, and that's the funny thing, is that he's, like, made fun of now, mostly because of the people who, like, have sort of, uh, gravitated towards his stuff. Like, not really through any fault of his own has he become, like, almost a joke. Really, he doesn't deserve it. Like, like... A lot of the things he say are, yeah, very reasonable. And, yeah, I mean, I don't know if I found him particularly boring. I, I thought a lot of his stuff was actually... I, I watched quite a bit of uh, his... What was it? Maps of Meaning or something. I watched quite a bit of that, and it was really fucking interesting. Um, but, yeah, even then, if you're not interested in that kind of thing, or maybe he has some other stuff where he's not as interesting, uh, that's about all you could really blame on him. Like, he... That's about the worst he's done, is be boring. The real question is, is that Boomer and his son in the chat? No, probably not. Apparently the Boomer watches my stuff because of CK2 and stuff like that. Grand strategy stuff. And the son watches it because of, uh, RimWorld. Which is very interesting, because I only started streaming RimWorld, like, you know, three days ago or something. Which makes me really wonder. Like, for one, first of all, it is, it's, it's extremely amusing. This guy telling me that he, uh, his boomer dad watches my streams. I knew that I already had some, like, fully grown, older than me adults watching my shit. I was already aware of that. Oh man, I want to heal, but... Am I going to get a possibility to heal here? Because I was going to just run to town to heal. Yeah, I really do want to just heal. Maybe I have something. Yeah, it is very entertaining that uh, that he watches my shit. Um, but it's also kind of interesting that if he watches, if the son watches it for RimWorld, did he just? Does that mean he just found out about my channel recently? And did he find out about it through his dad? Because that's weird. You know that that's weird. Um, yeah, I've got nothing to heal with. I also don't want to just go back. Oh, wait, I've got an energy root. Make him fucking hate me, but I guess I don't really care. You know, let's... No, I don't want to use Mike Pence, because he's going to fucking blaze through the... Mm, heal inside. Oh, okay, fuck. Nice. You better not be lying to me. <laughs> Maybe the dad saw the RimWorld stream and showed his son that likes the game. Yeah, I mean... That's perfectly reasonable for a thing that's happened, except, like, what, what family does that? Like, that, I mean, it's not, there's not anything wrong with it. I'm just like, really? Uh, can I, oh, yeah, can I sleep here? Nice, nice. We can catch something in the, yeah, okay, let's go catch something. And we've got the good rod now, too, which we need to put on, uh, select. Although I- yeah, yeah. Yep. Uh, yeah, let's go- let's go fish. Can we actually fish from here? No, we can't fish from here. Well, I guess let's fight this guy real quick. Yeah. Oh, wait. Let's use Thick. Thick's gotta get some practice. Also needs to evolve, become thicker. Their opinion doesn't matter, give them the heal route. Well, yeah, I mean, fuck them, obviously. Ah, uh, fuck! Did I really fall for that? <laughs> Did I really fucking fall for the nin- uh, I don't want to do a fucking double battle. Uh, okay, fine. Fine. Vital throw on the on the bug, I guess. Can't even use surf because it would hit thick, and that would probably fuck him up, fuck her up. He's trying to relate to his kid. My dad shows me music he likes all the time that he thinks I might like. 
I mean, I could see that too, but but he said his dad is a big fan and he only watches for the RimWorld stuff, which is new. So like his dad is presumably had been, oh well yeah, so I guess that, yeah, I guess that makes sense what you're saying. Yeah, I guess it does. It's just weird. It's still weird that the dad is watching in the first place, I guess is the point. But yeah, I guess that, that might be it. And yeah, like I said, that's not new, you know? A lot of people that watch this stuff are like in the military and like, you know, like older than I am. Uh, there was that one guy I remember in the middle of a stream. <laughs> he said like, sorry, I gotta go. Gotta take the kid, the twins to school tomorrow. And it's like, okay, yeah, you're living a very different life from me right now. But it's like, it's almost kind of nice, you know? It's like, we can all, we can all connect over some video games. <laughs> we all want to escape from reality, and we our, our chosen method of escapism is some video games. It's pretty nice. Old people have a similar perspective to you. I don't think that's true, actually. I know what you mean, and I know why you would think that. And I do generally get along with old people, but a lot of times that's- You gotta remember that boomers are now old people, and I hold basically opposite opinion to most boomers. But again, that's sort of just like... That's sort of very generalizing in a way that doesn't really- It's stupid, you know? categorizing entire generation as being some way is a little much, you know? I mean, I, I'd hate to have myself fit in with, like, millennials, because depending on how you define the generations, I'm a millennial. Uh, you know. Oh, fuck Magnitude 9. Oh, please don't fucking... Oh, okay, thick's fine, Amy Schumer. Mmm. Okay. All right, we're fine. We're fine. Coughing explosion run. I well, I can't run cuz this is the trainer battle. I can switch and I have to switch anyway. That's a good thing you said that because it makes it can make me think about who has the highest defense. Sarah could probably tank it. And sh oh. Oh, it's a special attack though. So she could not take it. Um Actually, Taft and OK seem to have the best. They'd be able to take it the, you know, like, most likely out of everyone. Oh, but fuck, I don't want to switch to... I don't want to switch to OK, because he's a grass type. Switch to Taft. I guess we'll switch to Mike Pence. He could also... He has, also has pretty good special defense. Makes me think what our average age is as a community. No, it's it's actually, I wonder, you know, because, I mean, obviously, if you haven't noticed, a lot of people here are, like, late high school or college. And college makes sense, you know. That's pretty much, you know, like, that. that's my age range is, like, I mean, I don't want to tell you how old I am, you know, but I'm in my 20s. You know, I've made that clear. And, like, that fits college or just out of college. So that makes sense that there would be some over, you know, a, a, that most of it would be around that area. It's interesting that we have a lot of like late high school or like freshman college. Um, but those might also just be the more vocal. And then yeah, we have a good number of like 40, 50 year olds and it's like, maybe it's just a, maybe it's just a very diverse, you know, I can probably look on YouTube actually. You know, I could probably do that right now. How interested are you? Because I'm gonna, I'm gonna take a look. I'm gonna, I'm gonna take a quick look. <laughs> when I tab, when I go to a new tab, it tells me like, hey, you know you're streaming right now, right? You know you shouldn't be checking shit like this in the middle of a stream, right? No, I know. Just give me a sec. Uh, if it doesn't fucking load fast, I'm just gonna say fuck it though. No, never mind. Yeah, it's, it's loading super slow. Uh, okay. Everybody's fine. Um, let's body slam the coughing. We just want to get rid of the coughing right away. We don't want it to have any chance of exploding. We don't, we don't, any turn that it exists is bad. 
everyone lists their age now. Y'all, I'm, I'm actually gonna look later and see why did. No, yeah, okay, never mind. A lot of people, especially black Catholics as yourself. Black Cat. I don't know what you mean by black Catholics. I'm not black. <laughs> I mean, of course I am. I say nigga all the time, and so I, I couldn't get away with that naturally if I wasn't black, so. Since you're from the desert, do you own a camel? No, I, I don't own an animal of any kind, actually. Because I, I live in an apartment building. It's not really room for this, you know? Some people buy dogs and shit like that for an apartment building. And I mean, I guess if you've got a small dog, it's not like the biggest deal. That's probably fine. Personally, don't really like the idea of cooping a dog up inside all the time. Much less a fucking camel. So... Yeah, I'm actually kind of interested. I mean, one thing is the- like, I'll go look at the age thing, the demographics. I'll do that later and actually find out what the ages are like. But, uh, you don't- you never know if it's accurate. You know, like- like on Steam, when it asks you to confirm your age, so that you, uh, so that you can watch, you know, the footage of some M-rated game. I always just fucking scroll and pick one at random, you know? I always pick like, oh yeah, I was born on January 1st, 1969. You know, I'm sure a lot of people do that when they make an account on YouTube. They don't want to give out their fucking real information. So, I don't know how accurate it probably actually is. Also, about time. Fix finally evolving. Ooh. That's, a, that's an interesting color. I didn't know shiny Hariyama was, like, purple. Uh, let's take a look at her stats. Thick. Still got thick fat. Yeah, stats are still kind of shitty. Not the worst, you know? Could be worse. Uh... Because its attack isn't its lowest stat, like some of our Pokemon have been. It's its third, and defense is its second. That's not terrible. But the special attack being the highest is, is pretty bad. Um, I guess... It does allow for maybe some shenanigans with, like, some TMs. Maybe we could give him something crazy like fucking... He's not gonna be able to learn any of these, though. I guess we could give him a weird HM. Sometimes one of these weird ones they're able to learn, you know? Uh, probably you can't learn Thunderbolt, I'm gonna guess. No, no. Return is a normal type, so that doesn't help me. Shockwave, no. Yeah, none of these really. But HMs, it's set to where anyone can learn any HM, so I could give him fucking Surf. Which is power 95. Honestly, not that bad. Of, I'm gonna look at his other moves. Her other moves. I keep calling him a him. It's actually, like, not the worst idea. Most of her moves suck right now anyway. I'm not gonna be pissed about losing arm thrust or something. Yeah, you know, I, I think that just gives him a, gives her a little bit extra utility. I'm gonna do that. Hey, what's up, buddy? Howdy. How you doing? When is Dalton joining the stream? He was actually, uh... Watching it before. He was watching before from the pool outside of our apartment. Uh... I think he's still there. I think he's still swimming out there. He finally got the pool key. I had a problem with that before. Um, I'm gonna go heal. Like, I could just use an antidote. But... It's right fucking there, so I'm just not gonna waste that. I'm pretty low on cash, so... I'm gonna be cheap and let my Pokemon suffer for a while, rather than just use this, this 200... or this $2 item on him. Oh, not, not the PC. Yep, 
Yeah, let's just, uh... <clears throat> let's go catch something. Well, let's get this first. It really is kind of funny that every single Pokemon in the grass here is something we've already caught. But, I mean, I guess that's just fucking how it goes. Yep. I mean, we... Again, we didn't actually catch that, but we caught the form before it, so... Did we fight these guys? Yes. Yep, already caught it. Just need to get to that water. Just let me go. <sighs> Let's try Surf. Let's see how it does. Pretty good, actually, yeah. Yeah, not bad. Yo! Not bad! Fucking not bad! Alright! I- you know what? Not bad. We got a little too many water types, but not bad. I am very okay with Mudkip. Very good Pokemon. Easily, easily could replace Amy Schumer. The, the problem, of course, is being able to think of a name that isn't a, a fucking very old meme. But on the other hand, maybe we've come full circle enough to, uh, to use I Heard You Like Mudkips unironically now. Or very ironically. Maybe we've come full circle enough. It's been enough time for that shitty meme to be an acceptable meme. I'm not sure. I'm not sure if we've reached that level. What do you think? Because because I can I can test it here. Here, just uh just uh This is actually terrible. This is actually... I regret this myself. Let's, uh, let's stop that. <laughs> let's just... <laughs> okay, he's asleep. Should probably be able to catch him. Is it a he? In fact, it is. Good. Hopefully his stats are good. Because I really would actually like to use him. Can you cut that shit out? <laughs> no, I hear you. Uh, I guess we can switch to something that can do some damage to it. I'm just a little afraid to kill it. I mean, our chance should be not that bad. While have You know, let's, let's use our fucking Ultra Ball. He deserves it. Water Pidgey. He's not a flying type, so... Name him Chad. That's an, ex that's an acceptable name. That is, that is acceptable. Pepe? On the other hand, no. That's not an acceptable name. Water Pistol. Pistol. A la pick pictum. <laughs> hot and cheesy. Why hot and cheesy? I, I think yeah, I don't understand that one. Um Let's do a little bit of damage to him. Let's get our weakest Pokemon. Uh let's look for weakest attack, because they're about the same level a lot of these. Oh wait, this has the weakest special attack, so we can use Mega Drain. That should do like oh, but it's it's grass, right. I mean, it's water. Grass against water. Um, water gun or body slam. Either of those with this guy would probably be fine, so. There's no ease. Yeah, but it's that chessy. That doesn't sound any fucking better. You're calling me illiterate because you spelt it wrong? Like, even if you spelt it wrong on purpose, it's like... <laughs> 
he used water gun. I oh, fuck, man. Okay, all right. I'm not going to attack him anymore because if he... Uh, if I crit him, he would die. So, get him a little... You know, he's a little lower on health. We're going to put him to sleep again. We're just going to... We're going to yawn again. It won't do anything. We wait. Now he's asleep. We've got fucking... Yeah, 19 great balls. We should be fine. There you go. Perfect. On land, it can powerfully lift large boulders by planting its four feet and heaving. It sleeps by burying itself in soil at the water's edge. No inspiration from that. It's a mudfish Pokemon. It'll evolve into Swampert. Um, a swamp. You can make a, a again. The the natural choices here are are shitty old memes. You know, we could call him like you know just l e or like how'd they do it on the l i e k i heard you like mudkip we could do that we could call him fucking shrek or something because funny haha uh swamp joke we could we could mud shark yeah but mud shark's not that good of a name you know it's like not that it's not that good of a name name him pikachu i why how many times do I have to say Mud Shark? Mud sh is that like a good name? Shark Boy and Lava Girl. <laughs> you know what? I don't. I don't mind that one. I kind of like Shark Boy. It doesn't really make much sense, though, does it? It's close. It's close enough that I might just do it. Chad's also not bad, but I like Shark Boy. Of course, we're gonna have to recruit Lava Girl at some point. Is Shark Boy one word? It was two words, wasn't it? How did they spell it in that cult classic movie? It was Shark Boy, right? Two words. This is important. Shark Boy and Lava Girl. One word! One word, actually. And no, yeah, we're not putting an I at the end of boy. You don't, you don't have to do that every single time you spell the word boy. If you do it every single time, it loses its meaning. Actually, wait, oh fuck. Is it Shark Boy with a capital B? No. No. Okay, one word. Just capital at the, at the beginning. Name him Peterson. Ted Cruz. Nah, I like Shark Boy. I actually like Shark Boy quite a bit. Uh, yeah, how do we actually get to the water here? Are you sure that you can actually fish here? Oh, right here. Yeah, you can fish right here. Yeah, I walked right past it. Something good. Oh, wait, I caught this fucking mudkip just fucking three seconds ago. What? Having a brain aneurysm. Yeah, obviously we can't catch anything anymore. We got the... My mind was operating on two separate tracks there. Like, one track was saying, Okay, we need to go to the, uh... We need to go down and fish for some Pokemon. And the other track, completely separate, was saying, You caught a Mudkip, J good job. You know, and those two tracks did not meet. They did not... They did not have a conversation with each other. They did not relay information. They were just... You know? So, like, one track finished, and like, okay, Mudkip caught, cool. And so then the other track took over. What I'm saying is my mind is splitting apart, like that PKD novel. Just read that, by the way. It's not bad. 